How's it going everyone? I'm Game Master 648 and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. We're doing episode 4 again. Well, we're going to do episode 4 from now on. And this is the last fight against the Wither Storm. A block in a hard place. And after that, we'll do episode 5 later. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. into danger. You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there. Jesse! They're falling behind! Actually, you gotta move faster! She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. Can we build a portal? If somebody has the right materials... We don't. I haven't seen Obsidian since the end. We'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! Be ride. No problem at all. Come on, horses. Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked. Everyone. 
Everyone follow me! This is Jesse, the worst ride of my life! Oh, great. Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I look! <clears throat> Everyone follow me! This Jesse, is the worst ride of my life! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it, I'm getting horse sick. <laughs> the skeleton's riding it. Riding the spider. It's gaining on us! No offense, but you can use a little practice. First time on a horse here! You try to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. You try to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! Oh! I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you! Uh, who are you people? It's me! Eligard! Come on! Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. 
Magnus. For a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! He knew the risks, and still he let me take his armor. He was so brave. He was also incredibly stupid, but still, so brave. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? You tell me. Excuse me? Well, you're the one who thought we could destroy the command block with a big old bomb. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So is the command block controlling all three wither storms? Oh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket. I recognize it. Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. It's just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... If they were just trapped in the Wither Storm... You realize there's a strong chance that Gabriel is totally confused? But what if he's not? Listen, if my friends are alive, I've got to go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, how are you doing? Terrible, Petra. Your skin is, like, almost gray. Hey, way to not sugarcoat it. I feel even worse than I look. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault. It's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have... Wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No, no way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. I can do this, guys. Petra, you need to keep fighting. There's no time to sit around relaxing in some cave. Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Knew you'd understand. Just. Give me a little time to catch my breath, and I'll be fine. This is a bad idea, Jesse. Yeah, well, it's Petra's call to make. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. <sighs> Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. 
Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but... I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together, the most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. Really? Yeah. It really? You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I've told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon, scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Um, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel. You slayed it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. You can thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. <clears throat> oh, I'm not even sure where to start. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them, and then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. you you understand yeah, I know you've run off before but things are different now you've lost too many people already the world needs us Reuben so much of it has already been reduced to bedrock and it's up to us to save the rest of it well maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig but we have to find a way I 
it's my fault. It is your fault. Go take responsibility for once, Soren. I did that by locking the command block away. So only you could use it. Ah, oh, do you still not realize how dangerous it is? Oh, the bitter irony. Soren the architect. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Haven't you done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Well, technically, it's a series of events whose end result appears to It's be. the same thing! What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a of Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. Right. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correct. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas. Hush, Ivor, for once! <sighs> the question is how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets, they don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. Isn't it obvious? The fortress is the key. If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Ugh. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. To destroy Not it. even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. And I'm inclined to agree. What kind of fail-safe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon. And you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? The wisdom caught up to us? Oh, it's getting bigger by the I can't minute. It found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. So what do we do? Guys, I have a plan. We're going to Ivor's secret laboratory to try to craft a... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Hello, my name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? 
The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three wither storms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Jesse, I'm going with him too. Like you said, I need to keep fighting. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him. Well, never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. Jesse, let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The griefer grab? You've got it. Oh well, real heroes don't need handshakes anyway. I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. further now. Fighting forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl in noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? 
The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. All right, let's just rest for a minute. Everyone's hungry, and we could use a breather. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? People become kind of useless when they're hungry, huh? Everyone doing okay? Not really. We're starving. You're coming with me. Not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. Check out what I found! A potato. Incredible. Hey, at least it's food! Potato number two, coming your way! Can I have this one? Oh, you had the last one. Oh, yeah. You take it, Ivor. I'm Sorin, not Ivor. Right, of course you are. Gotcha, potato. Potato bringer does it again. We are humbled and awed, oh great potato bringer. <laughs> hey, you guys want to help me look? Probably best if we stay with the horses. Trespassers. 
Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. And they know these swamps far better than I. Ivor, I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I'll keep watch. Just be quick about it. A potion of leaping. Cool. I wonder what horrible stuff's been brewed in there. A witch? Ivor. I thought he was with you. I don't know. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! You lost them for wow? What is that... Oh... There's the Firelands. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Farlands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. But at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <laughs> By the sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Farlands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on! Here so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Fortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know. Some way around. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that I were built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day.
Ivor needs to take better care of this place. <laughs>